Hi, how's everybody today? I got a quick one here for you. I just want you to know that after the first of the year, uh, if your phone is not B-O-L-T-E compatible, that's the new system. Um, now, you want to go into your, under your uh, settings. If you go in, well, let me get there. You go under settings, and you're going to open up network and internet. You tap that, and you look in, into it, and if you, under, it's going to have under mobile network. A lot of the older phones, there's nothing under mobile network. Now, this one, there we go. I got it over there. See right there, mobile network, and it's just blanked out. There's nothing in it. Okay. Uh, this is not VoIP compatible. I just bought this phone last May. Um, so that's why, I, that's why I wanted to warn you about this stuff. If you're going to buy a new phone, make sure it is VoLTE compatible. V-O-L-T-E. Anyway, that's how you're going to check. You're going to go in that same setting, and you're going to check it. Now, if your phone, you take the new phone, you want to check it. You're going to go to the same thing. You're going to hit settings. Go to go to uh, network. I'll try to get the thing over here so you can see this. You're going to go to network and internet. Tap that, and you're going to see you got mobile networks there. So you're going to take the mobile network and you're going to tap that. This opens up, and you look right down here. And some of them are going to say low, and you can turn it on, or it might be already on. This one here says advanced 4G LTE mode, and it's on, and enable 5G, that's on. Okay, I've uh, checked this out with three carriers. Yes, it's fine. And, uh, and my track phone isn't driving me crazy on it. Now, they kept sending me things that your phone is going to be obsolete after... January and February. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you. And uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is, and I think I already did it, I'm probably repeating myself, but uh, save your old phone. Just keep it next to your computer or wherever. And if you got to use this uh, double login deal that they got, you'll have them send you your little message there, and you go, yes, it's me. And uh, it makes it a lot easier. You can just leave that phone laying right next to your thing. Also, the calculator is great to use. Uh, and being that it has the uh, Internet in it, uh, as long as you got Wi-Fi in your house, hey, there you go. You got another little Wi-Fi device. Okay, that's all I really wanted to tell you today. I wanted to warn you about the, the fact that this phone thing is changing uh, this month and next month. They're going right over into this thing. And if you've got one of the older, older phones, uh, you're not going to, definitely not probably going to be able to use it. Uh, and if you've got a fairly new phone, like I had this one here, I bought it last May. Um, hopefully you don't have something like that. Uh, I did, uh, you, you might have to just go in and turn them on. That, you, that same settings I showed you, you go in there and you turn them on as long as it's got it. Okay. Uh, I think I covered that pretty good. Uh, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one. God bless. Just a quick add-on. Two-step verification is what I should have said, and uh, I didn't. That's why I was telling you to keep your phone next to the, the old phone, next to the computer, and when they send you that little link that uh, I you just hit, yes, that's me, and there, that, that's area two-step verification. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, catch us all later. God bless.